for just Steve Inc. Big thank you to the developers for sending the key our way, making our install and Let's Play available already on the channel possible. Over to you, Bully. Uh, this one sort of came out of nowhere. It was uh, it was one that Troy mentioned he got a key for. I had certainly never heard about it and and didn't really know anything about it until we jumped in. Uh, I think we the the day we did a Let's Play the other day was uh, essentially while we were setting up for that, I ran through the tutorial. So the first uh, gameplay footage you'll see there is is literally the first you know multiplayer version or experience that that I'd certainly had. And I think Troy, you'd only played one or two, but. Yeah, uh, it, it, it sort of took us a couple of games to get our head around what you need to do, and essentially what uh, what the game revolves around. And it's it's PvP online, so you've got teams of three, and there's various um, you know. So one team's got to go through the level. Uh, they've got to hack certain or pick up intel to be able to hack certain terminals, and then they work their way through to unlocking a vault, and then uh, eventually unlocking some treasure. Uh, then they then have to take to an exfiltration point. And on the flip side of that is you've got another team that's also trying to do the same thing. But if you can spot, um, you know, some of the other uh, human characters, because there's a lot of NPCs that are floating around, you can disguise yourself of them. But if you can spot one of those running around or, you know, hacking into a terminal or whatever it is. You can, or sitting you can, on the toilet. <laughs> or sitting on the toilet. Uh, you, you know, you can shoot them and take them out of the game uh, and it, you know, you can revive your teammates can revive you, but it, it makes it harder for that team then to progress. So oh, I did some little, research, Billy. Sorry, just to jump in on one point, it's upwards of four teams of three v. You know, three v three v three v three is the maximum. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. mate. Yeah. So no, there you go. So you've got it's it's this big game of cat and mouse. Is it? Do you do you go running towards the um, towards the first objective, or do you sort of hang off and see who else goes for it, or um, you know, do you? you've skimped the first objective and go straight to the second one and hopefully cut someone off or, you know, or I think what happened to you in one of the games, Troy, is uh, you got to the end, basically you'd got the treasure or at the exfiltration point and someone's come up behind you and popped you in the head, stole the yep. treasure and then they won the game. So, yep. you know, there, there's various ways to win and it's not just an all-out shooter. It's a bit of, you know, a bit of espionage, a bit of sneaking around. You can, um, there's various zones in each level that you need a certain costume uh, to be able to be in so there's there's areas where only guards can go and there's areas where only um you know technicians and stuff can go as well and you know i i found it really enjoyable for the time we played it it was it was certainly something very different to anything i've seen online in terms of you know a pvp game as to as as to the objectives and how it plays out and it was really exhilarating when you do i, I think if um if you have a chance to go back and watch that live stream we did that last game we played where we get you know we're the ones that got the treasure and then have to race to the exfiltration point and then you've got to wait until that sets itself up and you get taken out of the level and win and it's you know that uh, bit of excitement and adrenaline that you get while you're going through that process and, and and getting to the end of the level that hopefully someone doesn't try and take you out and yeah and you can you can get the win but uh, as i said came out of absolutely nowhere um graphically it's you know it's almost a bit of fortnite -ish sort of style mm. but Paired with um, almost a little bit of um, death loop. Oh yeah, a little bit of death loop. I would have gone almost maybe Fallout ish. So like, if you could imagine Fallout uh, before the bombs dropped and what what it was all like with the computer terminals and all that, I, I think it's got a little bit of that in it. I, I like the the art style and, and and the graphics that go with it, and the gameplay was. I, I think it was really enjoyable. I'd, I'd be more than happy to jump back into. Um, some multiplayer games. I don't know how much value you'd get out of it if it was just, you know, yourself sort of plotting around. But no, yeah. if, you can get, if you can get a team of, you know, even one other person to play with or if you can get a team of three together, it's um, oh, certainly well worth, uh, worth, it, worth a look at. Is it just multiplayer or can you play with bots? You can't play with bots, but you can play solo online and it will pair you up. Like, it'll find you two other partners, like random pickup group style. But yeah. then you've got the whole voice chat and do you really want to be talking with people online? <laughs> yeah, so this is more one of those games that you probably need a group of people to sort exactly. of play and actually enjoy. Yeah, if you've got a couple of mates, uh, this game is absolutely phenomenal. As Billy said, we played a couple of rounds and I was sort of ho-hum on it, but then as Billy called out, and this is the footage from that game where we won it, when we finally won it, man, it turned me up to 11. I was jumping off the couch. I was punching the roof. I had an absolute blast the time Billy and I ran this and we won. It was phenomenal. Uncle, the only thing missing was you, mate. You could have been our third and we could have really uh, 
pounded through. Because what you can do, Bully and I worked out, and I'm sure this is intended game design, but it's like you both sort of store up the um, credits to hack the doors, but then only one of you needs to hack it, and then the other one can follow the other one through, and then you can sort of leapfrog unlocking doors, and you can speed run it. So it really does encourage you know, good team cohesion and you can really get through it quick. It's, it is it is a phenomenal game. It is definitely worth how, checking out. How long is a typical game that you're playing or how long do you need to sort of... 15 well, minutes. A game? We, we got through three games in, in 20 minutes and, uh, in, sorry, in an hour. So three games in an hour, like three full games. And that was with us sort of trying to work out uh, in the first game or two how to play it and, and what your objectives were and how to find the intel and, and where to go for those objectives and stuff. So... If once more people play it, I think, and, and get their head around how it is, and once you have a better understanding of it, I think 10 to 15 minutes would be the standard sort of game length. So it's probably, you know, pretty quick jump in, jump out, just have a quick game, and then, you know, off back yeah. to whatever else you're doing. And and when you're playing, has everyone got the same, like if you're against another team, have you got the same, like, objectives and roles? It's not like yeah. a game where someone's defending, someone's attacking, and you switch roles and go around. No, Everyone's got the same... Yeah, it's like you've all. It's like you're all mercenaries, and you've all been given the same contract. You know, okay. hey, here you four teams. I just want this. Whoever brings it to me gets the. You know, gets paid. And, and is that's it a tutorial, talk, talk. or do you have to learn it yourself? Oh, there's a tutorial which I didn't think was that great. I, I no, the felt tutorial. Like learned more playing it. Definitely. Um, but that's what I was saying before about leapfrogging objectives because it'll come up on the screen and say someone's hacked a terminal or someone's opened the vault or whatever it is. So. If you don't think that you're going to be able to get to the first objective in time, you can leapfrog to the second one and basically they can shut down the vault, but you're standing at and but then they have to make their way to the vault. You can be standing at the vault, wait for you could be have all your intel ready to unlock it. As soon as someone's unlocked all the other terminals, you just go bang and go, Oh, I'm going to steal it because I'm already sitting here. So, or you could do of, sorry, mate. Oh, I was just going to say, that's what I mean with that bit of cat and mouse and there's a bit of strategy involved in it. You don't just have to go straight for objective one, two, and three. You could go straight to three or four uh, or do what happened to Troy is just sit off the exfiltration. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Just wait uh, at the exfil. <laughs> wait, let them do all the work, come to the exfil, bring it to you, shoot them, take it, game over. And what's the, what's the comment? He said, shoot, is, does the shooting actually feel good or is it like a mechanic? Well, it's spongy. It's, it's there. It's there. <laughs> It's no, a bit it's more spongy, great. but then we kept coming up against players who were playing, um, I don't know her name, a female agent with a crossbow. She's a bit sort of deeper in the roster. You've got to play a bit more to get enough in-game currency to unlock her. But it appeared as though all the top-level players were playing as her with her crossbow, which looked like it did the most damage of anything. So I think maybe in future there'll be a balance tweak to pull her down, or maybe when you unlock her, I think she's the sort of gold tier who you're aiming for, the crossbow looks like it seems to be the most effective. But yeah. old mate here that I'm firing with the pistol, I think I have to put five shots into someone to drop them. Yeah, okay. What are you playing on Xbox, PlayStation? PS5. PS5. Is it cross-play? I feel like yes. like this, I was going to say probably need it, given the fact that it's probably going to have a smaller play base. You're probably going to want to be pulling from PC, PS5, and Xbox. Yeah, I think the longest I waited for a game, as Bully said, I played a couple before him, and then we played a couple together. I think the longest I waited for a game was like a minute and a half on the outside, and that's with cross-play enabled, obviously. So the player base is already there. I mean, the only carrot or the only gold that could be added to this or layer of icing, if you will, would be for it to hit Game Pass or PlayStation Plus and then have that massive influx of players where awesome. yeah. you're just straight into it. I think you kind of need to. I think the problem at the moment is we're seeing across the board so many of these sort of live service multiplayer only games that aren't Fortnite just mm. go away very quickly. So that's the problem. I think if you once you have that initial player base at the start, everyone's playing it, it's new, whatever, it's fresh. And then within a couple of weeks, there's the next game like this that's out there that everyone's playing. Everyone drops off this or goes back to Fortnite or goes back to yeah. Apex Legends. So that's the problem I think I find with this. I feel for the developers creating anything sort of solely multiplayer these days because you, you pretty much, yeah, in the world that we live in at the moment, a lot of those aren't lasting. Yeah, very true, mate. Although this one, like next to Fortnite, this is the one that appears from my eye to have the longest, best chance, longest legs on it for actually still having a head above water in, you know, six, eight months sort of thing. Oh, well, I hope so, because even Multiverses is uh, apparently, it was, it's not even in the news tonight, it probably should have been, but uh, they've mentioned that they're, they're moving out of beta phase, I thought they'd already did that, and uh, <laughs> they're, they're going away for six months and apparently coming back for a full release uh, by the end of the year. So, so is that to so, say they've taken all their servers offline? Yeah, yep. Wow. So okay. it's, 
yeah, they, they, I don't know whether they kept that under wraps because as far as I was concerned, it was in a beta stage and they released the game and you could obviously spend money on it in the store. And now they're saying, no, nah, the beta phase is over. We're going to go away. We're going to do all this stuff to it and we'll see you in six months. So I don't, I, I'll be very surprised if we do see them in six months. But <laughs> no, so I just, yeah, I just think the lawyers are the wall for all these online multiplayer games. But I'm, I'm happy this one seemingly seems quite good. So. Yeah, and uh, shout out, of course, this one isn't full price. This is a discounted game as well. So it is just a multiplayer, but you're you're not paying a full price. So I think it's a uh, fair price on it. Sorry, Billy. I was just going to say, I, I I think the reason this one might have a fighting chance is because it's it's a little bit different to everything else in terms of, yeah. of the, the online space. And I think when we were playing it, Troy, I sort of compared it a little bit to Among Us, that it had that, mm. that sort of, um, you know, hunting out the... the uh, I don't know what they call it in Among Us. The, the True one, imposter. The, the imposter. imposter. Um, so it, there's a little bit of that is, is trying to find out who, the, who the, the human players are and who are the NPC and trying to work out that. So you've got a little bit of that aspect to it. Um, I, I think that, you know, given that Among Us got um, really big, it, it did take a little while for that to catch on and, and get pretty big. But I think um, in, in terms of the online space, if they've done something different enough, in my opinion, that... Yeah. You know, it, time will tell whether it 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 actually plays out and 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 sticks around long term. But I think doing that has given them the best opportunity to stick around long term. Yeah, I absolutely love this game. As we already said, if you've got a you know small group of players that you're on with and can frequently get on multiplayer, definitely give this one a look in. It's um it's really something special, especially once you win one. Once you get a win under your belt, and what do we get? Three or four trophies off a win, Billy. Oh, they were just, it was like I'd hit the jackpot in the slots. They were just oh. pinging off left points. <laughs> Probably half the reason my brain went up to 11. Ding, ding, ding. Hello, hello. <laughs> we got a winner here. I love that. Anyway, definitely worth checking out. Uh, I absolutely love it. Um, I don't know. I've, I've only put in maybe two hours at this point or maybe two and a half, three. But uh, I, for me, it's easy sitting a solid eight, eight, five. How about you, Billy? Oh, I'd probably be a bit lower, maybe a seven-ish, I would have thought. Um, to, again, time will tell. Like, you could put more time into it and it'll drag it up that next couple of points or it could conversely be the other thing is that it, it wears out pretty thin. I'm not sure. You'd, you'd have to probably put a good solid, I reckon, um, 10 to 15 matches in it to work out some of the systems behind it in terms of your progression and, and how that sort of plays out and the different levels and, and whether there is going to be any, any sort of longevity to it. But certainly... Our, after the first two or three hours of, of, of play time, uh, it's, you know, I don't think it's not worth a look at. It's, if it's something that, uh, is, as I said, it's different. Um, and if you're looking for something different in the online space, then there certainly this might fit the bill. And the last thing I'll say on it in the plus category for me is it really does, you've gambling element to it do i just go for the objectives or do i gamble and hang back let someone else do all the work and then just come in for the cheeky win at the end and you know and, and it is the the class or quality of your opponents as well it's a bit poker like as oh do i reveal my hand now and do i start sprinting or do i have to really keep calm and just stroll through this map and sort of stay undetected there's a lot of layers of mechanics here it's very enjoyable this is us rushing towards the finish if you want to see the full thing check out the channel it's on there Thank <laughs> you.